American forces have launched rare airstrikes in eastern Syria against pro-government forces after their base in Deir Azur was attacked. All this comes at a time when more than 100 civilians have died in the last 48 hours in Syria. Here's a report. Again, planes bombed parts of eastern Ghouta. Amid the smoke, rubble, and damaged buildings, members of the White Helmets were scrambling to help injured civilians on the ground. The ongoing airstrikes have killed dozens of civilians in recent days. Civilians in eastern Ghouta are trapped by the airstrikes as Russian and Syrian forces continue with their intense offensive to drive out insurgents. Clearly, the war is far from over. While the Islamic State may have lost the battle, the differences between the Americans and the Russians over Syria is now spilling onto the battleground. This is not the first time pro-Assad forces, backed by the Russians, have clashed with the U.S. military. As the war in Syria draws to a close, both the United States and Russia are competing with each other to have a greater say in the peace deal. But this has sparked concerns of a direct conflict between the United States and Russia. But the ongoing conflict is taking its toll on the civilians. Airstrikes in the last 48 hours have killed more than 100 people, while dozens of civilians still remain missing. Euro report, we are.